Welcome back to another video. This one is Adventure Quest World's Infinity for Dummies. The dummy is called Mr. Guy. So you already know Mr. Guy because he's been featured in previous posts. He's basically the digital mannequin and he is used for the animations when they're testing them and whatnot. Then there's the image of Mr. Guy. We discovered a number of problems with Mr. Guy over the various projects that formed together like Voltron to make AQ Infinity. Now that we have the cinematic cutscenes working, we started finding issues when making them. Mr. Guy needs to be rebuilt. So Ghost is biting the bullet and rebuilding Mr. Guy as we read this. New animation sneak peeks. So this is the Infinity version of the Dragon Slayer class. Getting new animation, Spider and Immortal Joe have the Skill Forge, a tool to build new classes and, mo and monsters, which is now functional. And Nolgath just sent in these new animations. So these are this is the first one, spinning like a large hydron collider. And then the bladed uppercut, this technique is probably barred from the upcoming Mike Tyson and Jack Paul fight. <laughs> and then the rolling, okay, well it just says rolling a one when attempting to start your campfire. <laughs> That's pretty clever. That's actually a really cool animation. Look at the smoke come off of that. And then sticking your knife into the electrical <laughs> socket. That's too funny. This is really, really nice animation though. The Dragon Spear Y power up for those who watched Goku. Man. And then there he is running, running to get groceries while on the power up. Mr. Guy got lonely, so our animator Ghost started working on Mrs. Girl. This is important because these two models are animated differently. Really? That's cool. A lost Dragon Slayer, he may have some valuable information that could help us solve our dragon problem. Talk to him and hear what he has to say. <laughs> you can see in the background, Galanoth, all huge in life that's obviously not supposed to be there. Why the green, which is referring to her skin, I'm assuming. Some armor and skins are color customizable. To make sure they work, we often test other extreme colors. Greens likes to use green. As the saying goes, it's not easy being green when color customizer breaks. <laughs> this is the loot inventory. So you have keep all, destroy all, and this would be the what's in the loot before you pick it up. So you're able to see what it is, and then you're able to display it to see if it's something you're going to cosmetically want or not. The loot inventory persists when you log out. We limit it to 20 items, and as you get more items, it should auto-destroy the older ones. It would be nice to make an option to prioritize, prioritize rare items over trash drops, but I think you all agree we need to get the base functionality working and get the game up for you to play before adding these quality of life features. Here's an image where you can see that once you've accepted it, it tells you you've accepted it. But apparently Artix hates modals, which are the pop-up dialogue boxes. They serve a purpose, but as a general rule, we should get rid of them whenever possible. This was put here to make sure you knew you got the item. Instead, we're going to move the item from the loot bag to your inventory and have a new item be up at the very top. So you instantly see it and use it. Oh, so that way you wouldn't have to click on that would actually be less clicking you have to do when accepting something so it makes sense and here's another image of the dragon the ultimate i guess but that looks really cool techno mumbo jumbo engage there are two major topics we did not discuss in today's update the biggest one is major issue with the armor importer warlick and spider built a system to automatically import most of aq world armors they will not have animations or any special features but at least you will have the art when you log in but unity's default way of importing things are not designed to handle importing the insane number hundreds of thousands of individual armor parts through the sprite packer to export asset bundles during some tests of the armor importer the process said it will take 60 hours for just the armors starting with an a with the process 
would never actually, oh, but the process would never actually finish. Honestly, there are a lot of things I did not understand about the importer and his complex set of daisy chain systems. Anything I'm writing now is probably oversimplified and inaccurate. Warlick and Spider and now Zoom 2 has been experimenting and working on potential solutions. As of Monday's full team sync up, things are finally looking promising. Why is this game not live yet? What is taking so long? If you do not release immediately, I will dispatch the undead hordes of the Shadow Sith to... Hey, did you just screenshot this? <laughs> that is really clever dialogue. And look at these guys. They're all super old skeletons. That's freaking funny. A more lively undead game. The second thing, while working on Willow Creek, the team noticed that the new game did not look as alive as the existing AQ worlds. The NPCs are not animated and don't blink. So the content team lost their minds and started rebuilding the NPCs as fully functional actors with all the player animations. I love this about this team so much. This happened while I was out of the country. Both Zoom and I were out of the country, hence the eerie radio silence. The original AQ worlds has a lot of super weird bugs baked into it. Things that we did, things that we did when we first started making the game that would haunt us for the decade and a half that followed. We only get one shot at making the base of AQ Worlds Infinity right. Once the game is live and you are playing it, it will be too late to change the core stuff. We've already running super late, so we're going to get these things up right away while we still can. We are currently preparing the Dragon Slayer class and updated Dragon Slayer for the new tech demo. So we are going to be getting another tech demo. If you enjoyed this book, please rate it five stars and look forward to future AE press books, including of, and then there's a bunch of just mock ones. So there we go. Giving a little bit of rundown. So the next tech demo is going to be featuring the Dragon Slayer class, the improved Dragon Slayer class, obviously, for Infinity, the Infinity-only Dragon Slayer class let's put it that way and the updated dragon's layer that is going to be interesting cannot wait looks like it's going to be really interesting checking out these animations in game the loot systems coming along nicely this is going to be awesome no mention yet as to when the tech demo is so we'll have to keep an eye out i will definitely keep you posted on any aq2d news but I think that covers everything. Are you guys looking forward to the next tech demo? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.